Hi. Hi. Um, my name is Riley Westerholt. I'm a junior from Waverly High School. And this is my angst poem. When you first heard the words, angst poem, I really hope you did not have great expectations. And if you did, let me crush them now. It's hard thinking of a depressing story to tell about your life when you're a middle-class white girl who lives in Nebraska. The most prejudice I've ever had directed at me was the question, so do you like uh, ride your horse to school? Instead, I think I should write a poem about something simultaneously hilarious and horribly depressing, otherwise known as my love life. I like to think that I don't get asked out because the people at my school are so intimidated by my massive intellect, my grandiose vocabulary, but then I remember that I'm failing pre-calculus, so I know that's not true. I would like to believe that I've never had a date to a dance because my hips don't lie, but then I remember that they are also bony, angular, and generally look like they could stab you to death, so I dance in dark corners. I could think that the reason I slouch so much is because I'm trying to inadvertently communicate that I'm a vulnerable and shy girl, but then I remember how heavy my backpack is, so I try to stand a little straighter in public. I need to think that the reason boys don't stop and talk to me in the hallway is because they're so enraptured by the way I strut. But then I trip over my feet. Again. So I store that hypothesis away for later. I should think that true beauty lies on the inside, but then I remember that I go to a public high school. And I am just as shallow as everyone else, so I will continue judging you silently. I may think that the reason I don't have more friends is the absurd amount of time I spend on the internet, but yeah, actually that one is probably true. I occasionally think I may be good at sports, but then I remember dance, softball, volleyball, basketball, gymnastics, and how I get winded just running up the 13 stairs in my house, so I think it's probably a good thing I like poetry so much. I really don't want to come off as seeming pretentious, but then I remember that my normal facial expression looks something like this. So I'm afraid I've already scared everyone away. I want to believe that all of you poets are secretly yearning for my number, but then I remember that this poem sounds like it's full of self-doubt. And let's be honest, that's no way to make a first impression. Even though I'm failing pre-calculus, I just scored 100 out of 88 points on an English quiz. My massive intellect is intimidating. I've never had a date to a dance because I have the moves like Jagger and no one can get over it. <laughs> Since I'm so clumsy, I'm kind of hoping you will fall for me as hard as I fell for you. Whenever I'm feeling invisible, I like to think of how hot I will be at my high school reunion. How news of my success will have reached everyone and they will regret not thinking about me more. Suddenly I feel a lot better. I slouch a lot and that only makes me that much more terrifying when you've angered me to the point that I straighten up. Even though I suck at sports, if you see me glaring at you and writing furiously in a notebook, you should probably run. Because writers, we're tired of being told that we're not good enough. We're tired of wondering if we're actually not good enough because we are more than good enough. Every single one of us.